Hi Pisces, this is going to be your soulmate reading for July 2019. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below as I do a giveaway every single month. And if you'd like to know how to enter for that, information will be down below. And if you'd like to book a private paid reading with me, information will also be down below as well as information for my bracelets, which are linked on, there's a link down below in the description box to my Etsy. They are handmade, spiritually charged bracelets for different areas of your life and they start from just £3 with free international shipping. So Pisces, let's start with your reading and see what messages come out for Pisces, Soulmate, July 2019. Okay, first card, got the King of Wands, Ace of Cups with a Hanged Man, ooh, actually the message is coming straight to me and the Hanged Man is what the message is just, it's, it's, it's in my mind. Right, two big messages, okay, with the Tower and the Hanged Man. There's a lot of planet shifting happening right now. So if things are going a bit slow or things feel like they're a little bit all over the place with your soulmate and this whole connection, you know, you know what it's what it's like when you feel like things aren't quite in the right place, right? What I'm seeing is that there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. First of all, Mercury retrograde. Second of all, there's a Saturn retrograde, which is also indicated by the tower. Third of all, there is, I believe, Pluto retrograde. That is also about transformations, which you know the tower is the the key, is the is the key to. Also, um, Jupiter retrograde, Neptune retrograde. The Hangman is ruled by Neptune, so there's there's just so many planets moving backwards. What does this do? This allows for a slow period of time because people are really evaluating themselves. They're evaluating connections. They're evaluating things going on in their life. So things can be slow. Panic not. It is a phase, it is affecting a lot of people, it's going to happen. Just like how Mercury retrograde affects so many of us, you know, these other retrogrades will also affect us to a certain degree. Now, the Mercury retrograde is probably going to be the most intense because it's a planet closer to us rather than more of an outer planet like the rest of the other ones. But regardless, I do see that, you know, these retrogrades will have some form of an impact as to why things are a little bit all over the place within your soulmate connection or why there may be some stagnant time where you're not really in much talking with the person. So don't worry. This is opening your soulmate up. This is allowing them to see the connection for what it is. It's allowing transformations to happen, changes to happen within so many connections, especially spiritual connections because Neptune is also in retrograde. It allows us to see clearly, it allows us to literally see what we have to work on. So we're exposed to a lot of that and that's why a lot of this thinking with the seven of pentacles happens because we're exposed to a lot of these things and we have to figure it out. So I do see that there are emotional transformations that are going to take place, even for you and your soulmate. You know, this is going to allow you to see yourself what it is. You're going to see your strengths, you're going to see your weaknesses. And this is about standing in your power and owning your emotions, owning yourself, knowing that it's okay to be the way that you are. But also learning and knowing that there is always room for improvement, that you can grow. And, you know, there it is. There it is. Now, what I am seeing is that for many of you, this retrograde is really going to bring your soulmate a lot closer to you. For some of you, it's going to be a period of time, Pisces, where things might be a little bit all over the place. But the retrograde can also bring exes back. So this also shows that, you know, these planetary shifts can do two things. It can make things a little bit, you know, all over the place for a period of time, which of course is July. Or, in July, it really accelerates them to come close to you because they've gone through a very quick, you know, heavy transformation. So there it is, King of Wands. Action taker, pursuer, leader, coming towards you. Telling you how they feel about you. You've got the Judgment card that just flipped as well. Eight of Pentacles, you see this? Working hard. Ace of Cups, feelings coming to the surface and being exposed to you so them telling you how they feel about you and then the judgment card here is very very much so about decisions it's also about looking within yourself right for many of you there's new beginnings 
that are going to occur. You know, if you feel like things are all over the place, I do feel at the end of July you'll be feeling a little bit more positive, a little bit more uplifted, and just know that this is a phase and a period of time. Okay, so things for you and your soulmate may be quite stagnant, but just know that it's because of the retrograde, and that retrograde literally goes up until the last day of July. And plus there's a shadow period after that, so for many of you, a proper, you know, proper amount of knowing where you stand with your soulmate is going to happen in August. But for a lot of you, what I do feel, sorry, that's my um, slipper that's just falling off my foot. For a lot of you, there's going to be openings with this Mercury retrograde that will allow you to know where you stand with your soulmate. Okay, and for others of you, you need time and patience. Okay, other important messages to work with retrograde energy and not against that. If you are being shown a flaw of yourself and you feel like, oh my gosh, I just learned that I'm like this or I'm like that and I don't want to be like that. Work with your energy and not against it. Try and learn and grow from it step by step, bit by bit. That's what the temperance energy is there for. You know, work with the energy, not against it. Try not to work against your own energy as well and try not to work against the retrograde energy. You know, look inside yourself um, and just try and rest, retreat, meditate. Even five minutes a day can really help to boost you and make you feel stronger. So use this time, use this energy for yourself. It's highly, highly beneficial. We also have the Fool here. Now the Fool is about new beginnings, right? It's also about a sense of rejuvenation. All of these retrogrades are opening people up. And they all be, they are all just so happy to be going on at a very similar time. I mean, that's usually what happens anyways. And in our life, we've been through many, many retrogrades, you know, many of them, and we've survived them. But I think when you understand the meaning of them, and then, you know, subconsciously, psychologically, you start thinking a lot about it, it can, it can feel quite intense, but know that you have been through many of them. But this is again, just coming through because, you know, for some of you, things are quite stagnant. For others of you, things are, you know, are quite stagnant, but they are coming forward because Mercury retrograde lets them come forward and take action. The judgment card here is very much so about judging the situation. That's what, you know, your soulmate is going to be doing. And so are you. You're going to be judging the situation, seeing how it's working, seeing what's going on, reflecting and reviewing everything, rewinding as well, seeing what's going on. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. So this shows commitment. So even if, you know, you feel like the Mercury retrograde is rubbish in regards to you and your soulmate, really nothing has happened, I still see that somewhere down the line, there is going to be commitment, okay? There is going to be that initiation with this arch. There is going to be commitment that is going to come to you. And I do see that there may be a period of stagnant energy right now. But I do see that there's going to be that initiation. And for those of you where your twin, uh, the twin thing, your um, soulmate, sorry, is coming forward, they're taking action. They're coming forward to you and they are literally now, right now, in July, saying, I want to offer commitment. And then you will be the one to take on that judgment card and make a decision, an informed decision as to what it is that you want to do. Because, of course, it's it's a mutual connection, not one-sided. The Ace of Cups is them pouring their feelings out to you, working hard, you know, on themselves, but also on the connection. So, you know, it, it is pretty much a work in progress. And I do feel like some, you know, this is why the readings kind of split into two is because some people will take less time um, to go through this process than others. Whilst for others of you, this may not all happen in July because the retrograde literally goes through the whole of July. So for some of you, that opening may not happen until the following month. And for others of you, it will happen in July. So that's what I'm seeing. But there's, you know, there is a new beginning that lies ahead. But this month may be slow because we've got temperance. You know, there's a slow moving energy and also the four of wands is also slow. So I'm just putting that warning out there. Take it how it resonates. This is one of those readings where, where you know, it can go two ways. So take it as it resonates. And Pisces, this is your reading. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And also comment down below how this resonates with your situation. And don't forget to check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, my bracelets, which are on Etsy. And there'll be a link down below if you'd like to follow me on Instagram. So that will all be in the description box below. 
Hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.